good morning uh, so today uh, we will see uh, hci in software process so before getting it to, uh, into uh, uh, the interaction in software process first we will see what are all the activities involved in the uh, software process uh, then we will go for uh, finding out uh, the way by which uh, we can uh, include the interaction designs so uh, this is the main steps uh, involved in a uh, software development so uh, the step one is uh, requirement specification so uh, when i say requirements uh, it includes uh, like uh, both functional and non functional requirements so uh, say for example if you take an atm uh, application atm system uh, like uh, the features like uh, we are uh, logging uh, inserting the atm card then uh, we are uh, selecting whether uh, we want to deposit money or we withdraw money these are all uh, like we say it as uh, functional requirements and maybe uh, the security uh, and uh, uh, reliability comes under non functional requirements so whatever system we take first we have to identify what are all the features we want to develop in the system and then uh, maybe the additional features each and every uh, project will have some additional features uh, which we say it as a non functional requirement so uh, uh, we can meet out with the client and we can find out uh, not only client we have to uh, uh, collect the requirements from all the stakeholders that is uh, when i say stakeholders anybody involved in the system uh, we have to collect uh, the requirements then we have to go for uh, designing uh, the uh, system so when i say design uh, uh, it uh, maybe it includes uh, both uh, architectural design and a detailed design because at the initial uh, stage uh, we know we may not uh, have a clear idea about uh, uh, how uh, the entire system architecture is going to be so uh, we start with a simple design and then we go for uh, fine tuning uh, the basic uh, design and we come out with a detailed design so uh, here in a detailed uh, here in the architectural design we will be having a abstract uh, view of the system whereas in the detailed design we will include all the low level components uh, what are all the process involved and how the data flows among the process everything will be in included in the detailed design and only after the design we go for writing the code maybe uh, whatever programming language you choose you choose it and then we go for uh, testing so when i say you uh, testing there are a lot of uh, testing uh, available uh, say unit testing integration testing system testing uh, there are uh, regression testing there are a lot of testing techniques uh, uh, initially for each and every module we uh, test whether for the given input we get the proper output so that is what we say it as unit test so whatever project we take uh, we will be initially performing the unit testing and uh, uh, if uh, all the modules are uh, tested then we go for integrating the modules and uh, uh, after integrating each and every module we go for uh, testing whether the integrated modules work properly because whenever i say i am introducing something uh, some uh, new concepts uh, there is a chance that uh, an error may occur so in that case we have to do the integration testing and after the testing is done we go for uh, implementation and uh, uh, maintenance involves like collecting the feedback and fine tuning the system 